Have you ever wanted to see yourself as a cartoon from the 80s, an astronaut, an Egyptian pharaoh, a mythical god, or any number of other interesting characters? And do it all without paying a dime? Well, today, I'm going to show you how you can create a free avatar of yourself using a very popular web tool. We're going to make this from your own photo, step by step. So get ready, because this is AI for everyone. Welcome to AI for Everyone. I'm Joel Kamm. This is the show that makes AI easy, useful, fun. Anybody can do it. But before we dive in, could you please take a moment to subscribe, follow, like, share, maybe even review this podcast? I appreciate it. Also, I've got two free resources for you. Just go to aishow.io forward slash free and you can grab those right now. So just like you've seen the fun avatar of me on this particular podcast, AI avatars are fun little digital portraits. They take your regular photo and transform them into something artistic, something that could be playful or even futuristic. You can use them for profile pictures, you can post them on social media, or you might just want to show your kids or grandkids what you look at as an anime hero. Now let's talk about tools, and there are a lot of them out there. Whether you're using your Windows or Mac desktop, or you want to make avatars on your iPhone or Android, there are tons of apps with a variety of different features. But right now, I want to focus on making an avatar for free. If you decide that this is something you want to do more of, then there's very minimal charges to be able to make dozens and dozens of different avatars in all kinds of styles. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to photor.com, F-O-T-O-R.com. It works whether you're on a Windows device or a Mac device. And up at the top where it says tools, we're just going to search for AI avatar. We're going to click that and it's going to take us directly to this page that says transform your photo into artwork. What we're going to do today is upload an image first. And I'm going to pick this photo of me on my phone, just like that. Then over here, we're going to click on the mini figure and have it turn into a miniature version of me. Then we're going to give it a minute sometimes two for it to do its magic. In this case, you can see it's working pretty quickly. We're already more than 50% done and it's gonna make what they call a masterpiece. What do you think it's gonna turn me into? And there you go. It's taken this photo of me talking and laughing on the phone and turned it into a cute little mini figure AI avatar. Now this guy's got much better hair than I have, but he's all salty now and i've still got some pepper up here on mine then you can see that on most of the free services what they'll do is they'll place a watermark on the image so that when you download it you're telling others that you made it with this however if you sign up for removing the watermark you'll be presented with options for having a free trial to unlock all premium features. I love free trials because it lets you test out all the features of the site, in this case for seven days without billing you at all. So if you decide you wanna just play with the tool and then cancel before the trial's over, you won't be billed anything at all. But for many tools, they have both yearly and monthly options for you to continue using them. Honestly, there's so many of these tools and many of them have all kinds of different features and options. So doing a bunch of free trials isn't a bad idea. I recommend doing them one at a time, trying out the features. If you like it, then keep it and continue paying for it. But if you don't, just cancel before your free trial is over. I actually tried this a couple different times to see how it would change based on the same photo. So you can pick the one you like. Of course, if we want to try a different style, we could simply click on a different style, such as Santa. Well, ho, 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 there I am making calls to the North Pole to find out why I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas. So you get the idea. And if you want to poke around Fotor or any of these other sites to see the types of things that are available, you can do that easily. There's a lot of creative things. Some of them are free to do. 
And if you want to look in the App Store on either your iPhone or your Android device, just go and search in the Play Store on Google or the App Store on your iPhone for AI Avatar Generator. And you could see this list just goes on and on and on. Most of them have paid services. So read the reviews, pick out one that you like. Here's a few tips for getting best results for your avatar. One, use a clear, well-lit photo with your face facing forward. Two, try a few different apps. You'll get different results. Three, save your favorites. You never know when you'll want to use a unique profile picture. Check out some of the designs that I got out of using the Lenza app AI generator. These are a lot of fun, and I really particularly like the one that makes me look like a mythical god with the flowing salt and pepper hair. So which style of avatar would you like best? Do you want to do something that's cartoony, something that's like a painting, something more realistic? And in the future, would you like me to show you how to make an animated talking avatar like I did at the beginning of this episode? Avatars are great fun. If you've enjoyed this content, then please do subscribe, ring the bell, get notifications every time I post a new video. It really does help with the YouTube and other platform algorithm. When they know that people are listening, watching, and following, they want to tell others to do the same. Of course, for all links to this episode, go to aishow.io forward slash five, since this is episode five. Thanks again for being part of this community. Remember, AI is for everyone, including you. Beep boop.